My name is Janelle Ball and I have been a high school chemistry teacher at Chico High for over 30 years. <laughs> So um, I teach a science subject called chemistry and in chemistry what we do is we really look at um, everything in the world and the changes they, uh, that it undergoes and also what things are made of. And when we get to this idea of what things are made of in the area of chemistry, we're interested in going really, really small to that atomic level. and getting an understanding of how those tiny building blocks dictate the way that the world functions. Um, that's what chem is about. So chemistry is sometimes described as being the foundational science um, because the more you know about chemistry, the more you're going to understand biology, physics, geosciences, um, climate science, all of those things come back down to that little tiny atom. Oh, I do see, especially after the pandemic, that um, the, the field of teaching in general undergoing some changes. A lot of um, implementation, implementation sorry, of uh, technology into the teaching process and learning how to better connect with people in that format is gonna be a big area, I think, um, research-wise, how to do that, keep those personal connections. I also um, do think that some of the basics, though, of science instruction are, are gonna always be with us. It's gonna always be important to have students doing hands-on type of laboratory work um, to engage within the subject and build that foundation so then they can go off and apply it to the, the problems that we have today. Um, I think climate ch change is one of the biggest ones and that has a lot of different areas of science that can be um, addressed and used to tackle that problem. And so getting people who are really well educated and um, interested in helping is, is gonna be key to some of those changes in the teaching profession, yeah. Oh, I think number one, a, a passion for your science and wanting to share it. I always have known that like, I'm not the best chemist in the world. I wasn't that great in the laboratory at doing research but I love this discipline. And I know there are people out there that if they get exposed to it, they're gonna love it too. And they're gonna be those researchers in the lab. So I think having that passion is real important. I think also that you do have to study to the deepest um, you can to try that your understanding, the deeper it is, is better for your students. And to that end, being somebody who's willing to say, hey, I will apply to, to do other things. I'll go out there and spend my summer um, in a lab or following someone else, just broadening your experiences constantly. So being a student yourself, I think is real important. Um, probably, well, one thing that I, I did have an opportunity to do was um, I spent a summer at um, UC Santa Cruz and I did some research in the lab and I actually isolated a compound from a marine sponge um, that was uh, harvested in Fiji that no one else had discovered. So that was really, really an awesome thing for me. It turned out that the compound didn't have any biological activity, but it still was like, for me personally, I was like, wow, just think there are still things to discover that even a high school teacher can have a hand in. So that was really fun.